Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on Elder Scrolls Online. I am doing a sorcerer build today. Um, a couple of my friends have asked me to post a video online to show them uh, what's what with my build, they kind of like it. So I thought I'd show you. Um, first of all, let's go to race. Uh, I'm a high elf uh, because it adds the most spell damage. A Khajiit is also acceptable because it had, adds 10% spell crit and weapon crit. Um, so either is fine. I use at the moment the Lover Mundestone, but there are a couple others you can. Uh, use if you like depending on your game style so this is add spell and physical penetration uh, most people use the thief so we'll see what our crit is at the moment uh, spell crit is 32 percent so i use the thief to see if it goes up so it goes up to 41 percent which is not bad but we just lost a bit of weapon damage there now they are other um, Mondas stones you can use, like the Apprentice, which increases spell damage. Let's see what it goes up to. Put this one on. So it takes it up just over 3000. Then I'll do my buff. So 3629 spell damage, which is actually not that bad for a sorcerer. Um, these can, this can be improved more if you use either a spell power or spell critical portion. Um, I believe that is it for the Mundus Stones. Uh, yeah, no, none of us are for um, a sorcerer, which is okay. So I'm going to leave this one on, and the, I'm going to leave the Apprentice one on. No, sorry, I'm not. Uh, where's the Thief gone? Got a feeling it's over it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to put the Thief on. Uh, and that's just because uh, the more critical damage I do, um, it heals me, so... So that's why I use it. Right, so I'm running two pets. Uh, now I use this little guy here uh, as a distraction and the winged matriarch to heal me. So she heals and if I activate him again he'll attack something and start doing... You see his pulses coming from him, he'll do damage doing that. And he's also a distraction for targets as well. Uh, right, so the main thing people want to know is what sets do you run on the Sorcerer? Well, the Maelstrom Arena, uh, Maelstrom Lightning Staff is what I'm currently using. Um, it was a bit of a grind to get it. Uh, I got it by doing normal Maelstrom Arena. You can get it from Veteran as well. Um, but I didn't want the aggro going through Veteran, so I just did normal. And Veteran's not that easy, actually. Um, then I'm using Mother's Sorrow on my back bar. These are optional by the way, you don't have to use these. I'll run through a few other sets. Um, then it's Grundwolf Helmet and Shoulders because um, it's weapon critical, spell critical. Whenever you deal critical damage you restore magical or stamina, whichever maximum is higher. You also gain 350 uh, of the other source. It can happen every 5 seconds. That is a very good set to have on. My personal favourite. Most people will set run Zan. But this is only effective with single targets. So I do not particularly like Zan. Um, but uh, each to their own. If you are going to use a shield in uh, your sorcerer 
Infernal Guardian mask is amazing for doing that damage. You have a 50% chance of doing it and you can apply it every 6 seconds. And it, it is actually a really good uh, helmet to have on. Another one is Mar of the Infernal. So this basically just spawns a big dragon dinosaur thing that comes out and breathes fire on everyone. <coughs> um, and that's also really good as a distraction. Uh, so other enemies will attack it. Uh, if you struggle, uh, it's always good to have a healing helmet on. Choke Fallen is one of the he easiest helms to get. So I would recommend that if you are struggling to stay alive. I don't even know what it's on here. Uh, and Blood Spawn is also a good helmet as well. And it does add stamina recovery, but uh, we just ignore that. Um, I, I just took this off for another build, so that's why it's got stamina glyphs on. Ignore the trait because I haven't changed that yet. So this is basically if you take damage, uh, you got six percent chance to generate thirteen ultimate and increasing your physical and spell resistance for five seconds every five seconds. This is really good um, if you struggling to build your ultimate up, ultimates up fast enough to take down the enemies. And when it comes to other sets um, I just want to elaborate. Uh, the reason I'm running this uh, crushing wall set, the mouth from lightning stuff, is because the effect on it is your light and heavy attacks deal an additional 1350 damage to all enemies in your element wall, uh, wall of elements. Sorry. So I run this one with a set called Stun's Favor. So Stun's Favor um, it adds weapon damage, spell damage, penetration, spell penetration, more spell and weapon damage. It says, when you knock an enemy off balance, your physical and spell penetration is increased by over 5,312 for 10 seconds. This compa combined with Mother's Sorrow is very good. So I have uh, my entire body stuns uh, favour and Mother's Sorrow on here. So it, as you can see this says I'm missing um, two of the Mother's Sorrow but if I switch bars yep. so, yeah so that's how it, that works now switch back so if you don't want to run Mother's Sorrows there are other sets you can use um, for single targets Calorian's Lego set is very good but it depends on your gameplay if you wanted to run dungeons or um, PvP. Uh, I would recommend keeping Stunt's Favour on because I've been in PvP with Stunt's Favour and Mother Sorrow and I just uh, in defending one keep I took up down over 40 people. Um, not trying to brag, it's just it's so effective when they're all running through the door, slam down the um, wall of elements and annihilated them. Um, and I took my ultimate on top of it as well. So yeah. Uh, doo -doo. So Calorian's legacy, I would say, is really good. Um, that is a good battleground set, and if you can use it in PvP, um, try it because it is a, deals a lot of damage, but it's only single target. Uh, False God is obviously a PvE set. Mad Tinkerer is actually an underrated set, a lot of people stopped using it, but it is quite fun, it does over 15,000 damage. Uh, I've got two of them for some reason, whatever. Julianus is a... Uh, it's good, but Mother's Sorrow is better, if you can get it all right. Julianus you can create, so each to run on that. If you can't decide on a set in PvP, um, I'd use... I'd get... Uh, the stun's favour for body, because you can create a heavy body, um, and rest you want light obviously, 
then have the uh, Medusa rings and stuff. I'm still working on collecting this set, but I do believe that will be very good in PvP. Um, spinner, you can't go wrong with Spinner, yeah, as it adds a lot of penetration and it adds Magicka. Uh, it's actually, Spinner and uh, Stun's Favor go very well together. Um, Spider Cultist is another fantastic set. Uh, it's really easy to come by as well. Um, so you might want to try that one out. Uh, that goes really well with the staff that I'm using. The crushing wall because it adds more damage. Uh, and the spinner set and treasure hunt. Now you've not probably noticed that um, half these sets are like full wizard sets. Now I personally like um, Treasure Hunter. It's good if you're using AOE builds and you don't have to have certain skills down. So in a light you don't really have to use that. Um, but each to their own. Now there's another set here called War Maiden. Uh, well, uh, <coughs> excuse me. It adds over 600 damage to your magic abilities, which is actually quite good. Um, but I would recommend you, if you're new to the game, just get in some room, try them all out, see what works better for you. But like I said, Juliano uh, is not as good as Mother's Sorrow. Uh, they're basically the same, but Mother's Sorrow is better. I feel like they've changed that. It looks different. They keep changing sets. So let's keep track. Do I have any more? <laughs> so, uh, if you're going for an all shock build, um, Netch Touch, Nietzsche, what the fuck that's called, is also pretty good. It's because if you're using Lightning Splash, Lightning Flood, uh, et, uh, where you surround yourself with lightning, that's all gonna add towards that, and it's pretty good. Pretty good. I will show you in a moment um, what my damage is on this guy. I've got me awesome. Right, first of all, uh, it's all up magic. I've got 15k health, which is who but uh, let's do something about that we want to use the Arteum pickled fish bowl um, or the corrupts blood bloody mara uh, the, the, the crown fortified meals are fine to use if you cannot craft the other ones <clears throat> that one's just for catching fish um, the purified blood is also fine as well. We use the trial restoration portions just in case. And we use spell critical portions for the extra spell crit. So I didn't actually put a food on there, I meant to. So putting a food on, that's going to take me up to over 20,000 health. Uh, so, uh, if you weren't apparent, I'm using the Crushing Wall set, Lightning Staff, Mother Sorrow, um, Grunder Wolf, uh, which I don't actually need for a test. Right, so, I'll put the Zarn on for a second. So this is just going to do the most amount of damage um, to one thing. I'll go through skills afterwards after this. So you want to do a buff, buff, buff. There we go, we've got 45,000 
321 damage in 7 seconds. Um, a lot of people like to mourn about having, oh I've got 60,000, I've got 100,000, um, well thank you. I, I didn't really understand this game when I started off and um, I had to figure off this crap out myself and Elder Scrolls keep changing stuff without even telling us. So that's a pain. Right, so if you are new like me, you're a noob, you are an old divine, apart from your chest, on all your clothes. Now, uh, my helmet didn't even proc then, I don't think. Um, so you're on divine on helmet, you're on divine on shoulders, you're on divine on waist, legs, the feet, and infused on all your jewellery. I need to get that infused. Uh, in fact, I believe I have 50 points. Insufficient points. That is. I must have changed my wrist on. Never mind. But anyway, uh, I'll show you the skills I'm using now. So, in a lie, you only have to have this equipped, you don't have to use it. If you do use it in PvP, it reveals uh, hidden players. Uh, but, so like, it, it'll re reveal a Nightblade, sorry, or people using invisibility portions. Uh, then there's an uh, unstable wall of stone. Mystic Orbs, Summon a Volatile Familiar, and Summon Twilight Maid Priot. Uh, with Shooting Star on the Ultimate on that one. Then I have Lightning Flood, Diedric Tomb, uh, Critical Surge, uh, Pet, Pet, and Thunderous Rage. Now obviously you want, wherever you have a skill, so if you have a skill in Diedric, Ma uh, Dark Magic, sorry, you want all the passive abilities and this goes for everything if you just have one skill even if it's just the ultimate you want all the passive abilities so because uh, we're a wizard we're a wizard harry you want to be using light armor you want uh, five pieces of light armor so you want all of these in the light armor then you want one medium piece of armor usually the head or shoulders so you want the first three in these passives and same with the helmet you just want three now i've only got all these because i'm going to try it uh, try out that medusa set and i uh, may use all heavy uh, to try and do the veteran mouse and marine. Um, but having them all isn't costing me anything i had the spare skill points so it doesn't really matter uh, do -do 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 -do. You want all your soul trap abilities. It's not an essential thing, but you do want them. Uh, same with Dark Brotherhood, Fighters Guild, Major Guild. Basically, you want all the passives you can get. Uh, definitely an assault and support if you're doing PvP. And you definitely want them in your mm. racial class. Um, when it comes to enchantments on the weapons, uh, shock damage is best, um, especially on this Mosham Arena one. And I've got shock damage on that as well. Uh, see, so uh, I've got Nerned on one, which increases my weapon damage by 15%, and Infused on other, which increases the shock damage. Then it's usually like you want Magicka uh, on most of them. Uh, I think I had these on a tank, that's why they are uh, got health on. So I'd have more Magicka if I put uh, Magic Glyphs on them. I'll go for the champion points right now. I'm not going to read them out, but I will uh, give it three seconds per page and you can just watch and pause it as you go. <clears throat> Take note as well, uh, 
selecting so many indies will activate passives up here. So basically that's my build guys, uh, I hope you liked it, uh, and I might do another one at some point if you can find another interesting build, and I'll catch you next time around. Uh, later taters.